Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. And this is uh, kind of part two, or not part two, but number two uh, in the Dude Fix My Base uh, series. So I got a lot of you sending me by, uh, sending bases, and I'm it's very encouraging. And I, and I think I'm going to really enjoy this series because I like to see different bases. I like to see, I like to help others kind of with their issues. Uh, it's sometimes easier to learn from kind of, negative examples from positive versus positive examples. So Mark sent me his base here. It's pretty far along. It's we're at cycle 239. So it's not it's not a starter by, base by any means. And he had a number of concerns. I'll briefly talk about them. He wanted to know more about geysers and how to use them. Um, he was having trouble getting natural gas. And I think he was a little bit confused about where natural gas comes from, maybe. Uh, I, I looked around the map and it doesn't look like he has any natural gas geysers, but he does have the petroleum generator, which does make a little bit of natural gas, but not enough to make any decent am amount of power. Uh, he's finding his O2 production a little bit too slow. He does have a nice little setup here, electrolyzer setup, which I'll go over. Uh, he couldn't get steel working very quickly or very well, and I, and I can see the issues with that and I'll go over that. Same with glass. Uh, issues with pipes breaking. He wants to get some better food for his dupes. Right now, I think he's mainly doing mushrooms. Let's just see what he's got in. He's got a really good food reserve. He's got a million food reserve. So that gives us a lot of wiggle room in terms of uh, uh, timing and stuff. Let's see what he's got. He's got almost 700,000 of mushrooms, some meal lice, some fried mushrooms. That looks good. I don't know if he's actually frying his mushrooms here. I don't see any mushrooms being cooked here, so actually I'm going to take pepper bread off for now and put fried mushrooms because better to turn those raw mushrooms into fried mushrooms because we get a little bit more calories out of them. There might be a separate cooking thing somewhere, I'm not sure. And the last thing was space. How do I, you know, how does he deal with space and how does he get to space? Um... My advice is get the base running really smoothly before you attempt space and get the steel stuff working. So what I'm going to do is actually block this door so no dupes can go out there. Now a few observations off the bat. There is a ton of polluted oxygen everywhere. Everywhere. I mean everywhere. There's just stuff rotting all over the place. So this ice biome, it's full of food. Look at all this delicious food in here. But it's all rotting and it's giving off polluted oxygen. So I would probably set all this to, oh, it is all set to harvest. That's good. And I would po probably put some deodorizers in there, some get, get some fresh oxygen in there and make little ladders so that all this can be harvested. I'm not sure why this isn't being harvested. You should be able to get to this. But see, it's just going stale and it's rotting and it's polluting this environment, which is not good because this is free. This is free, delicious food. And we could turn that into frost buns. Um, in here, we could do frost buns. He's got omelets on right now. I might want to build another cooking station just to get... Let's just see here. We got... Um, frost buns are pretty good. They're plus two. And then if we had pinch of pepper nut as well, we could be doing pepper bread, which he did have set up. But I don't think he's growing pinch of pepper nut anywhere. And I found a good place for him to do that. So I'll start off with the steel production, and I can see right away what the issue with the steel production is. Uh, we've got water going in here, and water is not the best coolant for steel, because when you make steel, it heats up uh, 56 degrees, I think, is how much. Let's just see here. Uh, I forget where it actually says it. It says it somewhere in here. Oh yeah, here. If you hover over this heat, and you would never know to hover over this, but it says it'll raise the temperature of water by 56 degrees. So I did load up the save and just let the base run for a bit. And I actually said make one steel here. And what I noticed was that the water boiled in the pipes when it came out and broke the pipes. So I wouldn't use water as a coolant um, unless you have really cold water. And getting cold water takes lots of energy. So I usually use oil for my coolant or petroleum. And those are both good because oil doesn't boil until 400 degrees 
And petroleum doesn't boil. Maybe we got some petroleum down here. Uh, it, it boils at 538 degrees. So you can heat it up a whole ton and uh, not worry about it too much. And the nice thing about petroleum is you can heat it up as your coolant. And he's got some plastic making here. So he's turning his oil into petroleum. And I noticed this is the exact same problem I had with my base. And what happens is that the oil comes in, the dupes come down here to refine it, but the pipe is blocked because the petroleum is only going into the storage and then into the plastic. And it only kind of uses a tiny amount of petroleum at a time. So this pipe is always blocked and the dupe runs down here, makes a tiny bit of petroleum, notices that the he can't do anymore or she can't do anymore and just leaves. And I had this exact same problem. So the the nice way to deal with this, I think, would be to take the petroleum, um, use it as coolant for the steel production and maybe move the steel production right here. And then take the very hot petroleum and burn it in a petroleum generator up here. Because he's got two natural gas generators. Uh, they're not probably going to get they're not going to get enough natural gas to both run. So I would probably take out one of them. Maybe this one on the left. And I'm going to set the priority of this higher because I see it's damaged. Probably some non-natural gas went in there. There's no filter on the gas line, so there was probably some other air in here. But now it's all natural gas. It's got a nice liquid lock here. But one thing I noticed about this, a problem with this setup is that the polluted water is going to drip down here and has nowhere to go. So it, if they don't go into this door, it's just going to pile up. And if they do open the door, it's going to end up down here and mess everything up down here and eventually just fall down here. So what I would do in this case is I would take out... I would move the door up. I would actually take that door out and then move the door up and put some tiles here. And that way the water can at least collect up a little bit. I would get rid of these batteries no real need for the for them the smart battery is probably a good enough buffer so i'm going to pause things just because i'm going to i'm going to kind of quickly review everything and then we'll actually go and do and build the changes so steel production use petroleum as a coolant um you're going to get hot petroleum out but then you're going to destroy it in the petroleum generator which i'll build right here actually we can let them we can let them destroy it i think They're building deodorizers, that's good. I see they're, he has sprinkled them around. So there goes that natural gas generator. Some natural gas might actually come out from that. That's okay. And now we're gonna do petroleum generator instead. So petroleum generator, gotta make it out of gold because it gets pretty warm. Stick that right there. Let's make this higher priority. I'm going to turn the plastic off for now. Because I'm not sure how I want to deal with it. So we're going to put a steel production, metal refinery, make it out of ceramic, and we'll stick it right here. Maybe leave some room for cooling. We got dupes running on wheels, which is kind of funny. But that shouldn't be a case once this petroleum generator is built. So we'll, we'll do a insulated gas pipe. We could use ceramic, but I think igneous rock is fine. And we'll instead of, we'll branch off here. We'll go in here. We'll come back out here. And then we'll take it over to here. So now that, that water is pouring out. So we're, igneous rock is one of the better for insulated tile or insulated pipes. Sedimentary rock is also quite good. Granite is not very good. And this is all because of the thermal conductivity of the uh, pipes. So let's just see here. If we click on an igneous rock tile, we can see thermal conductivity is two. Uh, but granite is, let's find some granite. That'll be in the ice biome. Thermal conductivity is 3.3. So you want a low thermal conductivity. So granite's not so good. 
Igneous rock is better. Sedimentary rock is pretty good. Here's some here. It has a thermal conductivity of two. And then ceramic is much better, but you can get away with igneous rock. And there's so much igneous rock. That's the other thing. So now that we're building this out, I'm going to go up and I'm going to take this out. The other thing is that you don't want anything that's creating a ton of heat in, near, near your base or in your base. So we're going to... Uh, let's just see here. I'm going to take this thing out. There's probably some water in it. But I think when I destroy this... It will, um, it'll leave bottled water on the ground. Now we also have a kiln here. This is going to give off tons of heat. I would probably move that to the to a colder area, so I'm actually going to get rid of that. Same with the rock granulator. Now we've got a CO2 scrubber here, which is good. I usually have a CO2 scrubber in the bottom of my base as well. But the pipe piping here is a little bit <laughs> There's some issues with it. So, the water that's coming out of here is 48 degrees out of these showers and toilets and stuff. Sorry, that's going in. And then coming out, polluted water is going into a sieve, which comes out at 40 degrees. And we don't have an insulated pipe along here, so all the heat from this, which is only around 30 degrees right now, not too bad, is going to leak into the base. So I would use insulated tile everywhere, and there's some tile, or not tile, uh, pipe. There's some pipe here that's regular sandstone. So the 40 degree water is going to kind of radiate the heat out here. So I'm going to clear this pipe. Party 7. We do have some plumbers, so that's good. We'll clear that out. Now instead of scrubbing the CO2, what I would do is pump it down to the slicksters, because the pressure down here is really low. Look, it's only 100 grams. And these guys will just eat up that CO2, turn it into oil for you. And I might even use a high pressure vent here. So we already have a CO2 pipe um, from the plastic and from here. So I might tie into that. So we'll take out the scrubber. Uh, we'll take out that timing. Probably want some airflow here because the CO2 is kind of trapped. So I would do some more airflow in here. Let it fall down. And let's get rid of this thing pronto. It's also generating heat. So, I mean, the 40 degree water is insulated, so it's not going to radiate that much heat. But... Since you have slicksters at the bottom, might as well feed them. They're wonderful creatures. We love them. Okay, that's gone. That's gone. We might as well get rid of that automation as well. Actually, the wire can stay there. Because what I'm going to do is put a pump here. Gold pump. I'm doing stuff for 89 just so we can get things done. Put a pump there. And we'll do a uh, element sensor. Gas element sensor which is under automation, I think. Yeah, gaseous element sensor. We'll stick one right here. So we'll say, if we if we detect CO2, start pumping. Because eventually the oxygen will make its way down. The CO2 for the mushrooms will get trapped because it's in kind of a U-shaped hole here, which is good. So that's going to need power. Let's check our power situation here. This line has potential 1.4. That's fine, we can use that. Connect those two up. The rock granulator, that's probably okay there. Probably doesn't get used that much. There's also a lot of CO2 in the bottom of the base, so they're, they are coming down here quite a bit. And um, they're not happy when they have to breathe CO2, so it, it'll be better to suck all that out of there. Now we're going to need a pump for our pipe for that. Now this is kind of base temperature CO2, so I'm, I'm just going to use a regular igneous rock. We've got tons of it, so I'll use that. And we'll do that straight down here. We can build it in the wall. I probably shouldn't do it priority 9 in case we have some kind of emergency. We'll do priority 8. Come down here. 
and we'll tie into this existing CO2 line. Now we probably need a bridge to merge these, so let's do a bridge like this. Oops, oh, I'm so used to playing RimWorld. Uh, we'll do a bridge like that. And then we'll tie in to the input, which means we'll have to delete this one, one bit of natural gas pipe once that bridge is up. So now that we got a little lip here, the polluted water will collect in here. And we might want to move our battery out because it might get uh, underwater and stop working on, on us. So they're building that pipe, that's good. This is going to need a lot of power, so we're probably going to have to bring that heavy watt wire over. And I will do that right now, actually. We could probably leave this open. There's no, there's no harm in leaving this. Actually, there's natural gas that's going to... Actually, what does this give off? Carbon dioxide. No, this is fine being open. It's nice and cool in here from all these weeds warts, so that's good. Got some dig orders down here. I'm just going to cancel kind of miscellaneous dig orders. Uh, building some insulation here. Probably won't be in there in a while, for a while. We could probably let these slicksters out. I think it would be safe, and then they can start eating all that CO2. Right now they're trapped. I'm going to cancel this. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if this is a bug with the game, but often when the ice biomes uh, form, the abyss light gets torn because of these point of interest areas. So all the heat from here is dumping into here and killing the, killing the ice biome. So I try to go in there and actually repair them. I try to go in there and put insulated tile I would probably do insulated tile along here and kind of close that gap because I like to preserve my ice biomes because they are wonderful. They're free food. We do have a bit of heat being generated up here. So it is kind of warming up in here, but if we fix this tear down here, it'll, it'll help. We've got a lot of stuff underwater here. I would probably make some drainage, but that's not super high priority. I want to clean. I would want to clean this air though. We have so much. I'm gonna do some priority nine deodorizers because deodorizers are great. I just want to clean that air. The reason I clean the air is that food rots faster in polluted oxygen, so all this food here is just rotting away and why make food when it's just it's out there it's sitting on the map waiting for you these are underwater oh what a shame what a shame we could dump all this down into the bottom that, that might make sense let's do a ladder make sure we don't hit this uh, super hot abyssalite uh, let's see here. But we'll leave a ladder so we can get over here. And then dig. Dig this out. And let all this drain into this hole here. I'll use granite because there's a bunch of granite in here already. So that'll drain out. Then we can mop up this and free up these plants to actually start growing again. In fact, I would probably just dig up here as well and let all that drain out. I don't know if these are set to harvest or not. Yeah, they are. That's good. So let's go see how this is operating down here. So we need heavy wet wire. I need to make a bridge here, so we'll... I also want to move this battery, because this battery being underwater is not good. So we'll move that too. Smart battery, we'll take you out. We'll put you... up here, I guess. And we're going to need a conductive wire bridge right here, so the heavy watt wire can get out.
Okay, we got that back back flow, so I gotta take out this insulated gas pipe. Deconstruct that. And then that should all flow down nicely. We might need to do the same thing here, actually. We'll put a bridge right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> do a bridge here. Like this. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll knock out the pipe once that's built. I think this is a bug. Oh, no. Okay, that should work fine now. Now the CO2 will build in here because of this petroleum generator. It's disabled at the moment because the battery is full. But we're going to take that battery out. We'll get this one ready. Set that to 50% or thereabouts. And then move our automation wire over. Right to here. Now, this thing puts out a lot of power, petroleum generator, and unless it's running all the time, we could potentially have petroleum backing up, which would cause this thing to be stuck again. But we're actually not using the power very, uh... let's take this pipe out. Don't really need this either. So we could just burn the petroleum, but we could should probably actually just use this power for some other uses. And we're gonna be using it for steel production, so that's good. Now we gotta take this wire out. Then do the heavy watt wire over to the steel. And I don't need anything along the bottom. Wait a minute, where did my bridge go? Oh, I, de I deconstructed the bridge. Oh, geez. Uh, let's do that again. Let's try that again. I'll get rid of the wire at the same time. Keep an eye on stress as well. Stress is not too bad. Damage overheated is just a door. We don't care about that one. Okay, that's all coming apart. That's good. Power is good so we can bring that heavy watt wire up. And we could use heavy conductive wire. I'm just going to use the regular heavy watt wire. That's going to go to this battery and down to the steel. So the output will be hot petroleum, which will burn off. There they go. So this produces 2 kilowatts, and this thing uses 1200, plus some other stuff is using power, so this should all work out nicely. Let's get rid of that heavy watt wire, we don't need it. <laughs> we still have a dupe running on here. It's okay to have a dupe here just to bootstrap this thing, but... Okay, let's see how that's going. Okay, that's all wired up, that's good, that's good. I think it's safe to try to make some steel here. Priority 8. Oh, I did want to look at priorities. I noticed some there's some issues in here. Uh, so we got everyone able to do art, but we have the artist on high priority, which is good. But what I would actually do is like make it so that no one can do it except for the artist. And same thing with cooking. I would take everyone off cooking. This is just personal preference, but I would put the people who are really good at cooking on cooking. I mean, that was pretty much what it was doing anyway, but this way we won't have crappy cooks or crappy artists. So here we go. They were refining, we ran out of power. Oh, this is kind of funny. I don't have any petroleum in the line yet, so that's going <laughs> to... That's going to be a problem. Eventually, we'll get some hot petroleum out of there, and this thing will kind of kickstart itself. There we go. 
So here comes petroleum at 200 degrees. So it's bloody hot. But it's insulated and it'll get destroyed. So we're destroying a ton of heat here. And hopefully this is enough power to keep this all going and running smoothly. Uh, what a wonderful thing. And now this isn't blocked anymore. This can flow naturally. And we can use all of this oil. And we're feeding CO2 down here to the slicksters. Oh, and some oxygen and some chlorine. Wow, we're sending everything. Okay, this isn't working so well. Oh, I didn't hook up the automation, that's why. So we'll do hook this up so that it only it only triggers when we connect when we detect CO2. So gaseous element sensor, carbon dioxide. Take out the old automation wire. Don't need that. There we go. Now, now it should only run when there's CO2. We do have chlorine in here as well. So I would probably put a pump with a filter and get all this chlorine out of the base. And all the chlorine is coming from, I noticed this, this thing. So this is completely open. Um, there is a door stopping it and no one can go through the door, but whenever you go into the chlorine area or a natural gas geyser, do a liquid lock because otherwise it's gonna seep out. And chlorine, once it's in your base, it's a hassle to get out. So it's good that they're barred from going in here. So don't have to worry about this problem right now. Uh, what else are we going to do here? We're kind of, we'll take this steel out because we're not going to do this anymore. We're going to do it with petroleum as coolant. Uh, I'm going to take out this pipe. I'm not going to bother to empty it. I'll nick this pipe and then we'll empty it. and then we'll deconstruct it. It is running a bit warm in there. This is a nice little setup. I've tried to do setups like this, but I always get a little bit of oxygen in the hydrogen line, which is never good. So let me look at my list here. Geysers was an issue, natural gas. We've kind of, we haven't found a natural gas geyser. There's one out there. Oh, we got a lot of steam here. What's going on? Oh, I dumped all the hot coolant. That probably wasn't the smartest thing. It'll cool down though. It's in the ice biome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did I, I overheated the uh, nullifier? Wow, I've never done that before. Okay, maybe I should have emptied the pipe. Everything's overheating. Okay, that was a that was a mistake. At this point, I would probably roll back. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Terrible. Terrible. I guess there was some really hot water in that pipe. And the refinery. <laughs> uh, I successfully destroyed an ice biome. After all my efforts to keep it alive. It'll cool down. It'll cool down. Let's repair these pronto. And we got a lot of hydrogen generators here. In fact, we're not even burning this hydrogen off. What's going on there? Oh, is that made out of copper? These hydrogen generators are made out of copper, which is fine because it's in the ice biome. Well, we've got all this hydrogen backing up. Interesting. That's probably because the automation is saying don't run unless the battery is too low, which is kind of a problem because we want that hydrogen to go to go away. But we also want to use this power for something useful, which we were doing. We were doing some refining, but uh, we'd want to do some more useful work with this. Like maybe connect these two grids. That's what I would do probably. Connect this grid, which is connected to the base, with this grid up here. So I'd probably do a heavy watt wire joint plate right here. Yep, and then heavy watt wire. I won't do priority nine, I'll do priority eight. Up along, up along here. 
This has bad decor. But it's kind of out of way. Away from the base. Oh, jeez. I've destroyed. Destroyed everything. We need to do some serious cooling in here. <laughs> I should have left that... I should have left that steel generator alone. Too cold. Really? Too cold? What the heck? It's 90 degrees. That's strange. This thing, this thing, this thing should be running. Too cold. My, my ass. Hardly. Let's put some ice sculptures in here. Just want to cool this area down. Oh, we can also make uh, temp shift plates out of ice. Which is really nice. I just learned about that recently. We'll stick some of those in. Let's just cool this area right down. That'll all melt and drop to the bottom. But we need it. Because I fried this area. Oh, and now all these are underwater. Ah... Uh, this is supposed to be fix my base, dude, not ruin my base. My intentions are good, though. That'll all drop down to the bottom. That is fine. Let's stick a tile here. Now all the ice is melting right away, but that's good. It's just cooling everything down. And we gotta mop this out. Now that I've ruined things. Okay. Disaster averted for now. Now we've got all this hydrogen up here. We've got a hydrogen geyser. It does put out at 500 degrees. I notice he's capped it off. But what I would probably do is nick this, like open this up. Put a, pu a pump at the very top, maybe right here. And then actually use this hydrogen for power. Doesn't seem like we need much power though. Everything is back up actually. Uh, we got a um, hatch for hatch farm here, which is good. But sage hatches, um, they're good, but they're eating dirt, which is kind of a precious resource. Now he has tons of dirt, so I I'm not going to worry about it. But I prefer the stone hatches because they eat um, igneous rock. And there's so much igneous rock. We've got... We have 620 tons of igneous rock. And there's so much on the map. Okay, have I connected those grids? I have. Good. Good, good, good. Still gonna mop all this crap out. Oops. Don't wanna mop in there. I'm gonna let some of this water fall down. Okay, the steam is gone. That's good. It's still hot, but this nullifier will cool things right down. Oh, some at some point I disabled this. Building disabled. I think I did that by mistake. We'll turn that back on. Okay. Okay, we don't need that anymore. It's good. We don't need all of these. It's cooled down a bit. Okay, let's go check our petroleum. Okay. Oh, wait. I, I have to put this on continuous. Now, let's see. We've got 20 kilograms. We've got t tons of refined carbon. We've got good amount of iron. Decent amount of lime, so that should go for a while. Do that for 87. Now this might actually back up because we're not consuming the power fast enough. So what I'd like to do is actually join all my all my grids together so that the power kind of evens out. So I'll probably try to join this grid with this grid down here. We could dig a tunnel through here, connect those up. 
We kind of got a natural tunnel here already, so I could probably just do it through here. There's chlorine in there, which I kind of try, try to avoid, but... I might not do that project because it'll take a while, but, but that's a suggestion. Join these grids together. Otherwise, you've got power that you could be using here that's not really being used. And the system's backed up again now, so... We could also just do a transformer. Actually, that's one thing I noticed. This wire here, potential power consumed 2.5 kilowatts on a one kilowatt wire. So this needs to be upgraded. And I would probably actually attach, instead of running this on coal, actually it's not technically running on coal because this is all part of the grid now. What is this set at? Let's set this way down. This coal should only run in emergencies. I usually centralize all my coal to wherever my big macro power grid is. Then you don't have heat um, building up in places you don't want it. This is all melting away. Probably just dig it out and let it drain out. In fact, I would just let it drain all, everything, just drain everything out. And make a nice place for it to all go. Just dig this out. They can't get down there, of course. Let's go down here. So the steel problem's fixed. Natural gas, we'd have to find some natural gas geysers. He did point out a few geysers on the map by drawing boxes around them. So there's something here. Uh, there's a few others he noted somewhere. But I would go in here and I would clean up this whole area. I would spam deodorizers in here, clean the air. I would drain the water and then I would just get all this free food. And you probably would never need food again. Okay, that's all running. Maybe I will join these grids up. It's a little bit of a project, but I don't think it'll take them very long to dig through here. Especially on priority nine, because we like priority nine. I would do an airlock. Some chlorine will get out. Oh, maybe I'll go from the top instead. Whatever, it's not much chlorine in there anyway, so the airlock is just for kind of good measure. Then I do a uh, floor along here. Dig a tunnel out. And lay a heavy watt wire to join these two up. Just go straight across. Yeah, something like that. The chlorine should sink to the bottom. And then I do heavy watt wire, join the two grids. So let's actually plan that out. How much uh, conductive wire does he have? He's got 10,000 gold. He's got 60,000 gold amalgam. So I would just use gold amalgam. Uh, that's going to be an issue. We're going to have to go around there. And then just bring this across and up. There. That way any excess power on this grid will feed into the main grid. Or I could have just done a transformer off this another transformer and c connected up this grid this wire but we got to fix this problem we got too much on this wire and i'm going to upgrade these wires conductive wire 
along here to that pump. Any other issues here? Yeah, there was some pipe here that needs to be upgraded. So I would do insulated pipe, igneous rock. I'll do that priority nine. Just to upgrade this little section of pipe that's not insulated here as well. And let's empty, empty this and deconstruct all this. I like to clean up after projects that I'm done with. Just makes it easier to look at. Okay. Glass production. That was another issue he was having. Same problem. Uh, using water uh, as a coolant or, or polluted water. It can work, but let's just check and see what the heat is. Uh, actually, let's see his output pipe. Oh, weird. Okay, this is totally, this is totally wrong. Um, this output pipe is actually where the glass comes out. I think he thought that the coolant maybe came out of there and he was, I don't know what he was doing, but let's, we'll get rid of this. And we will dump, we'll use ceramic for this because the glass comes out freaking hot. We will dump it right on the ground, which sounds like pure insanity, but it's not so bad. It actually cools down quite quickly on the ground. And if you put a little puddle of water, it works even better. So I might actually just do a, uh, do a nice block right here. There we go. So let's try to make one... We'll wait till they do the ice. We'll make one block of sand. One block of glass. See how this, how this goes. All that water is leaking out. So maybe I will do... A heavy, heavy watt joint plate right... Oh, it won't let me. Okay. Uh, we'll do it right here instead. Then we'll put the wire up. Oh, actually, what am I doing? What am I doing? Let's move the wire up a bit so we can actually build a little lip here. So we'll do heavy watt wire. We'll come up and around. Once that's built, I'll take out this and we can put a tile in there. Nice uh, droopy water there. Heavy watt wire is going in. Need a heavy watt joint plate there as well. What is broken here? Liquid pipe. Uh. Oh, this was from the steel generation, so we'll get rid of that. That'll be a low priority. We'll just empty. Did I do that as empty pipe? Let's try that again. Empty pipe, priority six. What the heck? Here we go. Get that water out of there. And priority six will get rid of this pipe. And I can take out this heavy old wire now. Now I did notice one <laughs> large problem. This is a ticking time bomb here. This is where he's getting his water for his oxygen generation. And from this little puddle here. So when this puddle is gone, all oxygen will be done, will be gone. That's a problem. So we need another source of water. Oh, here's another one, a geyser he marked out. We should probably go find out what that is, but 
We do have a lot of water around here we could use. Uh, we have, I think we have a steam geyser or two out there. There was a water geyser somewhere here. I usually use, oh, what do we have here? Steam vent, 266 grams at 500 degrees. It's all ending up down here. This isn't actually making that much, so I would maybe even cap that off. There's another nullifier up here. That's good. There's something in here, like I pointed out. But there is, a, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here it is. Here's our main cool steam vent. Decent amount, 3.4 kilograms. I would probably use this for my oxygen generation, but that's going to be a long, a very long pipe. All the way down to here. But it kind of has to be done. I mean, this is where the good water is, so... I would either use this one or I would search for either a polluted slush geyser or another water geyser. Because that's, that's kind of far. I'm going to mop up some of this crap here. We do have quite a bit of water down here. That would last a bit longer, but... Let's dig this out so this can all drain properly. It's kind of nice cold water, so it'd be a waste to, uh... It'd be a waste just to turn it into oxygen. It's better to turn hot water into oxygen than cold water. Oh, this food in here, it's... It's killing me seeing all this food rot away in here. We will fix it. We will fix it. Let's get in there. Should we already have a ladder there? Let's use this ladder. Go down here. Get all this food. Start draining all this water out. Probably go this way. Out here. Let it all drain down here. We could actually use this to cool stuff as well, but it's already pretty cool in here. We could do radium pipes through here. With cold water. I don't think they can get there. Oh yeah, they can get there. Now I usually replace areas that they're going to be going a lot with with granite tile. It'll just speed them along. I'll leave some drainage. Now is there an, yeah, there's a ladder under there. That's good. Free food here. Oh, those are underwater again. <laughs> I'm just gonna fix this once and for all. We'll do, we'll let it drain out here. Tuned. Way to go, Lindsay. Way to bury your head in the sand. Headless horseman. Okay, there's some free food there that's just Getting pulverized. That isn't the main kind of project he wanted me to work on, I'm sure, but we've we fixed the steel issue. Might as well turn the plastic back on to use some of that power. We should probably get a wheeze ward in here because it's gonna get hot. This is probably backed up again, yep. Yeah. Even though it's on the main grid now should be. Yeah, it's all connected. Now our problem is we have too much power. <laughs> Good problem to have, but... Oh, we got someone on the stress table. Hmm. 
Let's check vitals. Morale. Morale's a bit low. Oh, 20 out of... 12 out of 20. Yikes. So what are they getting their bonuses from? They got the Great Hall. Three shift break. Crappy food. Let's make... Oh, I turned frost buns off. Do we have any pinch of pepperonut? Let's just see. Let's close all these up so I can see what I'm doing. Pinch of pepperonut. We got a barely... We have so much sleet weeds in storage. I haven't been maintaining the jobs at all. Actually, only one needs promotion, so I'll just leave that. We could improve the decor in here, get all these crappy paintings out of here and put good ones in. We could also put plastic beds in. That'll help them a little bit. They don't have to sleep as much to regain their stamina. Base is actually a little bit cold. Probably from the cold oxygen, maybe. All these hydrogen generators are just sitting here idle. It's so sad to look at. Oh, I think I've set them. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this coal generator. Don't need it. Got too much power. <laughs> now, eventually the oil will run out. There's quite a bit there. We could drain. We could tap into this oil here. But there's an oil reservoir here. So, eventually you could go in here and get oil from this but this oil will probably last a little while and there's more over here oh i was gonna let these slicksters free so let's get in there free the slicksters they deserve it we love them Okay, we're making plastic. Pipe blocked. Yeah, we're not we're not burning the petroleum fast enough. So you could take the automation off and just say burn no matter what. That's kind of a waste, but better to actually use the power for something useful. I'm not sure what we would do. We can make glass. Oh, did I make some glass? Yeah, it's sitting on the ground here. And this ice. Why didn't they ever build the ice? I think there's a issue going on there. I was going to build a little lip here. So I'll just do that right here. So the water gets contained. And we could just keep building ice stuff here to let the water drain in here because this water is going to run out and then we're going to run out of oxygen so I think I might wrap this up pretty soon oh we got a puff prince pooping in here we got slime lung everywhere. Spam some more deodorizers all around here. Where else do we need them? We need them everywhere. <laughs> You'll never run out of filtration medium, so just go nuts with these things. I would do a bunch in here as well. There's all this free food. Get up there, get that free food. Actually, they should be able to get there, no problem. I didn't see a compost. Yeah, there's no compost anywhere. How much polluted dirt do we have? Holy crap. Uh, polluted dirt, 3,500. Maybe there is a compost somewhere that I'm missing. No, I don't see one. So that's a problem. 
that's kind of a big problem. We got a lot of polluted dirt all over the place. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a bunch of compost right here. It's kinda get it's gonna get hot there. Let's do it up here. That might be excessive, but we want to get rid of that polluted dirt. Because it's everywhere. It's all this rotting food. Clean the air. Clean the air. Must clean the air. This geyser is a steam vent. Not a great one. This food is not accessible, so I would do a ladder there. Actually, we should just dig through here as well. Did I see a... Oh, it's a mushroom. Oh, it's too cold anyway. Okay, and I don't think there's a container for sleet wheat anywhere. What are we storing in here? Meal lice. I suggest not putting sleet wheat in um, fridges. And the reason, let's just copy those settings. The reason is that um, you can fit more sleet wheat in a storage container. So I would almost uproot one of these mushrooms, or what do we got in here? Carbon dioxide. I'll probably just do a storage container. There's some oxygen up here, I think. Oh, no, it's carbon dioxide. It should be safe. Put a storage container here. Put some sleet wheat in there. Sleet wheat grains. I haven't been doing any research. Uh, oh, you're into spaced stuff. Okay, so all the basic stuff's done. That's fine. Let's check out this bathroom situation. So we're... Hmm. So this is going to produce net... The, the lavatories produce more water. So this is actually going to fill up over time. So we could actually use this water. Oh, they just took it some. Oh, they just took it out of here and put it in there. <laughs> That's funny. Disable auto bottle. They're just going in an infinite loop here. That's not good. That's not good. So we could use some of this water over in our oxygen production. So I would make a pipe from here, either dump in here, or just connect it directly into this system. That might use the water up too quickly, but it's also a source of heat. This thing is 47 degrees and it's just heating up the whole base. So I would kind of get this out of here. And he could close the loop on the bathrooms and have the net, net water kind of go off to oxygen production. You do that with a bridge. The bridge has priority, so... Um, I won't explain it in this video, but... There's lots of guides out there for the infinite bathroom loop. I think I actually have some as well. But I think that... Oh, stress is pretty high. Cooking the better food should help them a little bit. Oh yeah, the sleet wheat farm. Or, I mean, the pinch of pepper nut farm. So we have a bunch of heat here. It's 42 degrees. We also have polluted water collecting in here. It's a little bit cold. What do we have got down here? We got 33 degree water here. So, yes, that will be the one last thing I do here. Okay. Quickly, we'll do our liquid pump down in this water. Uh, it can be a regular liquid pipe. In fact, 
I'll do a regular pipe to here, and then we'll do a radiant pipe, which will suck up all this heat. Well, it's cold here now, but <laughs> suck up all the heat. And then we'll go to regular pipe over here. And then we'll do pinch of pepper nuts. Because we got a nice warm spot here. We've got access to blue water. So I would do some upside down food. Oops. Hydroponic tiles upside down. We'll just get this started. And then a regular pipe into that. And we'll put pinch pepper nut in there. Priority nine. And that'll need power, so we'll do a power line down there. Then we can extend this, make more pinch pepper nut. I think it's warm enough in here. Pinch pepper nut needs to be 35 to 85, I think. So with all the heat coming off this thing and this thing. In fact, let's just uproot these wheeze warts, even though I just put them in. These fish might die, but... And we want to take the polluted water out of here because it's going to build up over time. And use that for for this as well. We've got too much power. Pipe blocked. So yeah, if you wanted the steel to make to go non-stop, you could just adjust the settings here and have this thing run non-stop. It's gonna burn petroleum at a, it's gonna kind of waste the petroleum, but at least the uh, pipe will get unblocked because the petroleum will get used up. So depending on how much steel you want, you could just adjust this. Okay, let's put pinch pepper nut in there. Pinch of pepper. That way we can make a uh, delicious pepper bread instead. Extend that pipe. Now we'll probably use up all this water. But we have water coming out of here as well. I'll probably just put a pump like this. Pump. Stick it over here. Regular pipe. Out of there. Whoa, straight line, please. And I would either merge or dump. <laughs> In fact, you know what I would do? I would do... This is gonna be cold water. So maybe we would do radiant pipe here as well. Right. Actually, by the steel as well. Radiant pipe. Suck up all the heat here. Same thing. Come down here. Suck up all this heat. And then just... Well, I should feed it in here, but I'll just dump it. Uh, I should probably join up. <laughs> Let's do a bridge here. And then a bridge here. Gotta fix this a little bit. Uh, hmm. That's kind of, kind of, kind of a mess. <laughs> uh, 
I don't want to block my radiant pipe, but. I would probably just dump it, actually. It means the heat's gonna end up in the water, but then we're gonna suck it back out anyway, so whatever. Let's do that. Is that reachable? One, two, three, yeah, I think we can reach there. Okay. So then we're pulling the water out of here that's collecting. Whoa. Oh yeah, this thing's flashing like mad, because it's... It freaks out when you set it like I just said it. And I would actually put some automation on this pump as well. Oh, this wire should not be there. I'd probably do a hydro sensor down at the bottom. And say, only run the pump, pump when the pressure is over a certain amount. That way it's not moving tiny amounts of water, tiny packets of water, when it gets really low. Yeah, I, don't, I just want them to finish this and then we're going to finish things off here. So now that steel is kind of going better, um, how much steel do we have now? 43, oh, much more than when we started with, but at least it will be being produced now. And you could double up this system. You don't have to have just one, you could have two. And if you wanted to not get blocked, change the battery so that it just burns petroleum. Or you could put more petroleum storage in. You could put a whole bunch of petroleum storage here so it has a bit of more buffer. Okay, can they build that? I think they can. I could have just connected the... In fact, I'm gonna just... Con I'm just gonna connect the heavy watt wire. It's so much easier. There they go. Might want to put a storage container with phosphorite down here. Just beside these plants so that they're not running tiny bits of it. They'll consolidate it in this container and then be ready to feed it. And you could also use uh, an auto sweeper to auto feed these. Something like... Oh, the heavy watt wire is in the way, but actually the plants are in the way. You'd have to drop the floor and put the auto sweeper in. How did this all turn out? Drainage. Oh, it all got iced up. This looks nice and cool. Water's gonna run out. Well, let's try a bit more glass, because that's one of the things he asked about in particular. So the glass just drops on the ground, and it's super hot, but it cools really quickly because the mass is really low. And because the pipe is so short, there's no opportunity for the molten glass to turn into a solid in the pipe. That's what was breaking your pipe. And because it's ceramic, it should be okay. So here we go, we get to see it in action. Glug, 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 glug. And we got hot glass. And you can see how fast it cools down. You don't technically need the water on the ground. But it uh, doesn't hurt. And you can keep building maybe temp shift plates out of ice just to keep this area cool. Or you could do some kind of better cooling. 
Oh, it did break. Sometimes this happens and there's just no way around it. I don't know why. It just gets broken. Oh, actually, igneous rock? Did I build this out of igneous rock? Really? No, I built it out of ceramic. That's the pipe. Sometimes the pipes just break. I should have made this out of ceramic. I don't know why I didn't. Hmm. Well, we will fix that. Replace this with ceramic pipe. I don't know if this airlock's doing anything for us. It's probably just slowing them down. I'd probably just get rid of it. Yeah, I said like 20 minutes ago that I would end the episode, so we're gonna do it. I think I've solved enough of the problems. Uh, pressure above 500, is that that? Got pinch pepper nuts growing, so better food. We'll switch from frost buns to pepper bread. Oxygen in the base is a little bit low. Oh, it's being clogged up because we're not burning the hydrogen. Wow, these are getting drowned so easily. Strange. I'm going to stop, though. we got to stop. Um, I would burn off the hydrogen. I would always have one hydrogen generator just to uh, always be running. Just to burn up the hydrogen. Or find a good use for that power. You don't want it blocking up like this, because then your oxygen generation is going to stop. Because everything gets clogged up. But now that we're burning it off, it should be okay. And as you add more power consumers, it won't be a problem. I'm just going to fix this insulated pipe with ceramic. So you could double up this whole system maybe by your other nullifier. And instead of using this tiny bit of water, I would probably tie in this geyser. Have a long pipe that goes from here all the way down to your nullifier. But you may want to look at... This is a bit of a spoiler alert, so if you don't want to hear it, just plug your ears for a few minutes. You may want to check out this geyser. And yeah, I would clean all this air in here, get all this free food, get all this rotten dirt out of there. Compost it all. Where's my composters? Here they are. Look at this. All this polluted dirt. You want to get rid of it. Stinky. Gross. It's, it's everywhere. Look at this. It's everywhere. Get rid of it. Get rid of it all. It's disgusting. And then you get all this free food. You basically have free food forever. With all this sleet wheat plus the pinch of pepper, you can feed them delicious, uh, delicious pepper bread forever. We got, <laughs> we got high pressure here, low pressure here. <laughs> anyway, it's probably because I've sucked all the CO2 out of the bottom. But that's going to be it. Um, if you have a base that you want me to look at, please email it to me uh, at grindthisgame at gmail.com. Or you can jump onto my Discord and send it to me and I'll check it out. I've got about, I think, five submissions so far. So I'm going to be going through those, doing videos for those. And, uh, yeah, keep them coming, because I, I love doing this. It's fun. I'm sure I've made mistakes along the way in this kind of, kind of, it's not a guide, but in this video, but I'm not perfect. I just do the best I can. So, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.